Hello students this is Dr Amar Preet Kaur a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department in this lecture i am going to discuss about ecosystem ecosystem can be defined as biological community where biotic and abiotic components of that community will interact it is a self sustaining and functional unit of living world it greatly varies from size like there can be a small pond which can be considered as ecosystem to large forest or a sea okay even a sea is a ecosystem a small tree small tree which is inside our premises of school it can be an ecosystem broadly it can be divided into two categories one is terrestrial ecosystem and another is aquatic ecosystem terrestrial ec ecosystem it occurs over land for example forest grassland desert and aquatic ecosystem it occurs in water bodies for example we have pond lake wetland sea all these are aquatic ecosystems similarly with respect to human interference ecosystems can be divided into two categories one is natural ecosystem and another anthropogenic or man made ecosystem firstly natural system it develops in nat nature without human support or interference again we have example of forest or marine ecosystem now anthropogenic ecosystem or man made ecosystem it is one which is created and maintained by human beings for example your apple garden or fish pond okay fisheries culture where a pond is formed to culture the fish that pond can be an artificial ecosystem coming to the components of ecosystem broadly these are of two types firstly abiotic components and biotic components in abiotic components uh, there are climatic factors adaptive factors and topographic factors climatic factors it includes temperature water light wind humidity etc adaptive factors it includes uh, like the structure and composition of soil including the physical and chemical properties the last one is topographic factors it includes factors related to physical features of earth like slope valley mountain and plain clear now let's discuss about biotic components all living organisms for example plants animals and microorganisms they are included in biotic components of the ecosystem and on the basis of their role in ecosystem they are divided into three main groups one is producers second consumers and thirdly decomposers these are firstly producers okay these are the green photosynthetic plants that entrap solar energy through chlorophyll okay and they convert this um, solar energy into chemical energy they are also known as autotrophs in terrestrial uh, ecosystem uh, producers are herbaceous and woody plants while in aquatic ecosystem phytoplanktons they are the main producers their students producers they are also known as 
Converters are transducers, as already I have explained, because they convert the solar energy into chemical energy. Consumers, these are the animals that are not capable of synthesizing their food materials. They are di directly dependent on autotrophs, so they are known as heterotrophs. Consumers, they can be of five different types. For example, primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers and top carnivores. Firstly, primary consumers are first order consumers. These animals, they directly feed on producers. They are also called herbivores are key industry animals. Clear and secondary consumers are second order consumers are primary carnivores. Clear? It is having three names. Secondary consumers, second order consumers are primary consumers and they feed on herbivores. Clear? Examples we have like in terrestrial ecosystem, there is toad, spider, lizard, centipede or insectivorous birds and in tertiary consumers these are these are also known as third order consumers or secondary consumers these are those animals which feed on secondary consumers for example large fish uh, snakes okay they are included in this category top carnivores these are those organisms that are not eaten up by others. Okay. They are called top carnivores. They may belong to a category of primary, secondary or tertiary carnivores. But they are not eaten up by other animals. Examples we have tiger, lion, panther and peacock or falcon. Lastly, decomposers. These are saprophytic microorganisms and they get their food from food material or organic matter which is present in dead and decaying animals or plants. They are also called as reducers because they are capable of degrading the dead organisms. Okay, they are the fungi, bacteria or flagellates. Some workers, they have mm, divided this group that is of decomposers into three categories. One is scavengers, detrivores or parasites. Okay. Scavengers, they feed on dead and uh, dead animals. Okay. Like we have vultures, eagles, they belong to this category of scavengers. Other is detrivores. Detrivores are those organisms that feed on detritus. Okay. Example is earthworm. And finally parasites. You know parasites, they are dependent for food and shelter for, uh, on other organisms. With this, I have completed this lecture. In case you have any question, you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkor.com.